Welcome to my week 3 game of the second season in Battle Hub Draft League. My name is Scorpion and today my team, the Leaf Agents, are taking on Raymond, coach of the Mamoswine Doubters. I'll show you guys a quick overview of the matchup, the team we are picking this week and the Wi-Fi battle will follow. But first, if you are enjoying the Battle Hub Draft League content, please consider leaving a like and subscribing if you haven't already. The support of my videos has been crazy lately and that means the world to me, so thank you guys so much for that. With that being said, let's jump straight into it. Raymond's team has changed a lot throughout the season already and this current version is easily the most scary in my opinion. He's got an amazing physically offensive core in Baxcalibur and Azumarill, which can boost up and win very quickly if not answered. A very solid flying type defensive core with Zapdos and Corviknight that can pivot around to get big threats in as well as put a halt on most of my sweepers. An Azelf, which is very unpredictable and carries loads of different coverage and utility. And finally, a Duck Trio that can trap and remove most of my team members from the game, as well as terrestrialize into whatever it needs in order to do so. That's not all either. Salazzle, Dracloak and his other Terra Captain Probopass can definitely be threats in their own rights. Prepping for this team proved to be very difficult, but I think I'm happy with the team we're bringing to tackle it. Let's take a look. Due to its amazing speed tier, I really wanted to take Greninja off the bench again. We're going for a mixed brilliance hit this week with Gunk Shot to deal with the Zoomerill and Low Kick to deal with Baxcalibur. With the Live Orb and 100 attack EVs, we can one hit KO these Pokemon with the Proteum Boost or after an Ice Beam and Stealth Rock damage without it. Hydro Pump hits the rest of the team really hard, while Ice Beam is necessary to cripple Zapdos and potentially Draclow coming in. I mentioned Stealth Rock, and my opponent's very weak to that and as well as Rock in general, so I couldn't leave Cleavor at home this week. We're trying a Focus Hash set with Swords Dance to potentially break past Corviknight and attempt to defog our rocks away. I chose Close Combat as the third move to hit the only two other potential switch-ins, the Stone Axe, being Probopaz and Duck Trio, and Trailblaze to potentially let us 1v1 the ladder when it tries to trap us. The 52 defense EVs allow us to live one Terra Blast Steel from Adam and Duck Trio, Iron Tail from Azelf, or an Adam and Glaive Rush or 5 hits Icicle Spear from Baxcalibur. Not only is my opponent's team weak to Rock, it's even more weak to Ghost as they have absolutely no Dark or Normal types, so I decided to give Oricorio a chance to redeem itself. We're using Oricorio Sensu style this week, doubling up on the Terra Ghost to maximize the raw power of Revelation Dance. This also allows us to get rid of flying related weaknesses like Baxcalibur's Ice Shard, Zapdos' Discharge or Azumarill's Ice Spinner. We're using a super bulky spread to minimize the damage we take while setting up, mainly on the physical side as Quiver Dance boosts our special defense. The Lumberry lets us absorb one Thunder Wave from Zapdos or Probopass or a Toxic from Salazzle, while Roost and Taunt keeps us healthy in general. The speed EV is guaranteed we're faster than the Corviknight trying to speed creep it without any boosts. Next, I wanted some raw power to break open the opponent's defensive course. The Pokemon for that job will be Zamazenta, with its amazing speed and coverage. With the Choice Band and maximum attack investment, Close Combat itself pretty much scores a KO on everything except the defensive Zapdos, which is covered by Stone Edge. Wild Charge lets us threaten Corviknight and the Zoomerill much better, while Crunch hits the Azelf if we needed to. Maximum speed EVs, despite the adamant nature, actually still lets us outspeed Dugtrio by one point, letting us freely abuse this extra power. Speaking of Duck Trio, that is their only ground type, and we can't be trapped by Arena Trap because of our flying typing. So that's why I really wanted to add Thunderous Therion, as it also gives us a very free switch into Zapdos thanks to Volt Absorb. With a choice back set, we can freely get powerful damage off of the opposing team while keeping up momentum. Flash Cannon gives us the guaranteed one-hit KO on Baxcalibur after Stealth Rock, meaning we don't have to risk Focus Blast, and Dark Pulse deals with itself. Lastly, you may have noticed we're running free Pokemon Week to Rock without any heavy duty boots, so Hatterene is necessary to round out the squad and gives up Magic Bounce support. With a physically defensive spread, we can switch in on Baxcalibur and Dugtrio one time, take a big hit, and use our Eject button to switch out to bring in something like Zamazenta or Greninja for free, which gives us crucial momentum. The Eject button also cancels out one switching move from Corviknight, Zapdos or Azelf. Reflect is useful to give Oricorio an even easier time setting up, while Nuzzle and Draining Kiss lets us cripple try opponents trying to set up on us. Healing Wish is a great last move to give another free switch into a weakened member, letting them potentially go for another Rampage. And that's the team for week 3. Once again, I hope you guys enjoyed this little section, and I've held you all up long enough now, so let's get straight into the battle. Alright y'all, here we are with the battle of BHTL Season 2 Week 3, going up against the homie Raymon. Former champion actually, which I forgot to mention in the intro. Uh, maybe you guys recognized his team logo from uh, a thumbnail from one of my earlier videos when we did a... Because I did an interview with him when uh, he won the first season, so that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, I'm just hoping we do well. I, I'll be f I'll be perfectly honest with you, I have been uh, very tired and very busy this week. So my prep has definitely been a little bit rushed and uh, had a lot of stuff to do today as well. So I'm feeling very tired. I'm really hoping I'm just not going to just feel like I'm wasting Raymond's time because... Uh, Win or lose, I just want it to be a fun match, you know what I mean? 
If he uh, beats me, I'm gonna be perfectly okay with that. I just wanted it to be a good battle. I'll be honest with you. Last, uh, what happened last week wasn't exactly satisfactory for me. That Oricori operates great. So we're here to redeem ourselves. We've even got Oricori on the team still. So let's hope we um, let's hope we do well. I'm just currently waiting for the signal to start searching. Alright, cool. Let's get right into it. Let me also quickly take notes of his team. There he is. Cool. I believe IGN's gonna be Ray. Yep, alright, good luck, have fun, friend. Let me quickly write down to see what he's got. He has got the Probo Pass. Which is unexpected. He's got the Corviknight. Corviknight. He's got the Salazzle. The Azumarill. The Baxcalibur. And the Azelf. So there's no Zapdos, which is very interesting. I had a feeling Rayman would actually try and switch up his team because he's brought uh, his first six uh, every single time. So I had a feeling that the Probopause and the Salazzle would be showing up. That's interesting. No Duck Trio either. So Probopause is only Terra Captain. This is actually quite similar to what um, Pokemaster Idea brought against me in Mox. So uh, I definitely just want to lead off with my Cleavor. Uh, I want to get those stuff up straight away. If he wants to do the same, I'm okay with that. Uh, we could also try and go Hard Hatterene maybe. But I've, uh, I don't know if he wants to actually stay it on the Cleaver with the Zelf, just if he decides to leave with it. And, uh, yep, yeah. do I have my Calc ready? I do. Alright. So we do. So Zamazent is looking really good in this, into this one, by the way. But apart from a, uh, a Terra from Probopass, uh, we're, we're going to be very free to just spam close combat. I could see Thunder is being less useful because we don't have a Zapdos to switch into, but... Uh, I like the team he's brought for sure. Let's do it, Ray. Let's have a good one. How does he lead with? He decides to lead off with the Probo Pass, interestingly enough. So we do have close combat here. We could try and go for that straight away. I'm more inclined to believe he's going to Terra this at some point, or maybe he's got a Chapel Berry. Um, I definitely want to get up my calc to see how much we uh, do to this. Uh, let's see. So a Stone Axe is only going to do like 21 to 26 if he's offensive, if he's defensive even less. Close combat kills, but he's obviously, he can obviously have Sturdy. Uh, I definitely want to just click Stone Axe straight away. He could also get up his own rocks. Um, I feel like I'm going to have to deal with that though. So let's just go for Stone Axe. I'm on my own rocks up. Let's see what happens. Maybe, maybe he goes for the Terra straight away, expecting... Okay, we do see the Terra straight away. Beautiful. So that means that no uh, surprises for Zamazenta later. I suspect it will be Fairy or Ghost. It is in fact fighting. Interesting. So is he going to go for an iron defense set, uh, possibly? I could very much see that being a thing. Or is he going to be uh, physically defensive with body press? We go for stone axe. We do land. Thank you, Cleavor. Beautiful. And we're going to get our rocks up. Let's see if he gets up his own rocks. He goes for a body press straight away. Terra fighting body press. All right. Let's see how much that does. Does two a kill. In fact, that's definitely max fizz death for sure. It's got to be. Uh, let's see. Bold. Terra fighting. Uh, let's see, body press. Let's see, so body press. Yeah, that's definitely like uh, that's definitely max defense at the very least. So I, what I could do here is I could try to go into Hatterene and get a free pivot, but I'm also not that afraid of this thing to be honest. Uh, how much do we do with Thunderous if he's like max HP? Uh, we do a decent chunk. Um. I don't know if he can really touch me uh, with his um, Probo Pass if he's just going to do this. We could also go Hatterene again to try and deny him the Stealth Rocks, but I don't think he's going to have Stealth Rocks on this thing. Although at the same time, do I really want Cleavor? Do you know what? I don't even think I want Cleavor around. I'm just going to close combat, actually. I'm just going to stick to my game plan. Use this thing as a Sash Lead. Just do that. Oh, we get a big crit. I'm sorry about that, Ray. That is definitely a huge crit. That definitely put now puts it in range of um, Thunders easily. He's going to go for a Volt Switch. That's absolutely fine by me. It doesn't even KO us. That's definitely a huge crit. That wouldn't have done that much otherwise. Let's see what he goes into. He might go into the Corvidite. If he does do that, I'm gonna SD up. He might try to go into the Corvidite to try and like uh, defog away the rocks. If he does do that, I'm gonna SD up straight away. 
because I want to uh, be able to do some big damage to him. If he goes into Lazzle, if he goes into Salazzle, he can just kill me. If he goes into Azumarill, he can just kill me uh, with Aqua Jet. Obviously, Salazzle outspeeds me. Um, so I think we do have a good, decent game plan for whatever uh, we want to do. Just quickly double check if I'm recording. We are sweet. A little bit late, but Let's see what it comes to. He goes into Pika Blue, which I assume is the Azumarill. Yep. If this thing goes for an Aqua Jet, that is absolutely fine by me. I'm just going to quickly uh, Stone Axe because I want to deny him the. Um, because I want to deny him the thing. How much does Trailblaze do? He could potentially be Sap Zipper if he wants to like try and do a big brain counterplay against the Torterra. But um, but I also think he could potentially be a Solvest. Stone Axe does like half to him. But we also also have we also always have Zamba Center to revenge kill him if he goes to plus six. Uh, let's see, Trailblaze does definitely a lot less. So I'm honestly just going to Stone Axe. If he kills me with Aqua Jet, that's fine. Yep, he does go for Aqua Jet. All right, cool. So Cleaver uh, goes down. That crit did not matter. Cleaver goes down to uh, Azu, and he gets the first kill of the match. So I think here we just want to go into uh, Thunderous because it should be pretty free. I don't want to reveal my uh, Greninja antics just yet. Could go into Zamazenta as well and just fire off a Wild Charge. Uh, that does seem pretty free as well. But I think I'd rather go Thunderous and just Volt Switch. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. He could have a Wakan Berry. I could also just try and Thunderbolt because he doesn't have any um, electric uh, resistances, right? Oh, he does. He does. He does. He's got the Backscalibur. Do we kill Azumarill with Thunderous for choice picks? Uh, we might not kill if he's Assault Vest. Uh, yeah, we might not kill if he's Assault Vest. But at the same time... I feel like it's okay if Thunderous gets a little bit weakened here. Uh, how much does Backscalibur take real quick? Just so I can... Because if Backscalibur comes in, I might just honestly be tempted to just go for a T-Bolt. Nah, I think I definitely want to Volt Switch still. Let's Volt Switch. He doesn't stay in. Okay, so that leads me to believe that's likely not a Salt Vest. It's fine. And he's going to go back to the Department Pass. Yeah, that's fair. Makes perfect sense to me. And now I'm probably just going to go into my uh, Greninja. Uh, thing is... Maybe I want to go... Uh, okay, so let's see. So, Probopass goes down to Thunderous. The problem with this is we could now give an opportunity to the Corviknight to defog, and I want to deny that as best as possible, I think. So I might actually go into Zamazenta instead. Because Zamazenta should pretty much kill anything, I, g I think. Uh, because if we go Greninja, we definitely don't kill Corviknight from full. Hmm. Zamazenta to his to it kills everything, right? Hmm. I think I like the Zamazenta play a little bit more. Uh, judging by what he's got left. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go Zamazenta. Because we also have the speed tier and everything. Uh, unfortunately, this they will use up our Dauntless Shield. If he goes into a Zelf. Then we should have, we should be afraid of a choice scarf set for sure. But I don't think we die. Do we die from a scarf as elf? Let's see. Let's get some Santa in here. Okay, we, okay, he goes Corviknight. That's fair. Does he take rocks? He does in fact take rocks. So he could definitely defog right about now. Corviknight. If you're physically defensive. Uh, let's see. Do we kill you at full? No, we don't. If you're physically defensive, but we do do a lot with both close combat and wild charge. Uh, do I want to close combat? Because it does about the same damage. But obviously we do. We will get defense drops if we do that. Uh, I think I want a wild charge. Yeah, wild charge. So that's going to get some big damage off. That definitely is physically defensive. He's probably going to go for a defog now. Yep, there's the defog. That's fine. Uh, we are choice bandits, so we're definitely going to do a lot of damage to most things here. Uh, him getting rid of the stuff is definitely smart. He has leftovers. Good to know. Uh, he could definitely switch into the Backscalibur right about now. But honestly, I feel like that's okay. Because how much does Backscalibur take from a Bandit? Wild Charge. It still does like 26%. And we can go into Hatterene. Um, to safely pivot out. I think I'll go for a Wild Charge again. Honestly, I think that's fine. Okay, he stays in. Beautiful. No over predictions. Corvinite goes down. Beautiful. Zama. Beautiful. Did you get some more recoil? 
Uh, if he goes into Baxcalibur, knowing that we're Choice Bandit, uh, I'm gonna go hard into Hadarene. Same thing with uh, Azelf, honestly, I think. Um, because we have the eject button, so we should be able to get out pretty nicely. And uh, Thunderous doesn't die from anything from Azelf. And Greninja can take on the Baxcalibur, so... I think we're sitting in an okay position. The Stealth Rocks being gone definitely hurts, but... I feel like that's okay. The Terra being uh, gone on Probobus is nice. Gwen, who's that? That's Yuzelf? The Salazzle. Okay. This, so this thing could be Focus Sash, which is a little bit annoying. Hmm. So what do we want to switch into this thing? Uh, do we die from him if he's Scarf? Let's see. Salazzle. Hmm. Let's see. So Wild Charge. Wild Charge nearly takes him out. It's not going to kill, but it's damn close. If he's fully offensive. Um, I could also go Greninja, but I'd rather not get Chip on that. Hmm. Lazo does get taunt, right? So we need to be a little bit careful with uh, Thingy. I feel like we are in KO range of things, though. Are we? No, we're not. We, we only are if he specs. This is, tough, this is a tough choice. I could go Thunderous as well, but we don't outspeed. Hmm. That one to keep Zamazenta around. Hmm. Tough call. I'm going to stay in a wild charge. I don't think so, because Zamazenta definitely does need certain coverage, because we can nearly take him out. He's no choice scarfed, let's see. That nearly takes him out, beautiful. What does he go for? Slice bomb. Do we die from this? We don't. And you don't get poisoned either. Oh, that's beautiful. Lovely. Alright, Zamazenta, let's just go for another wild charge. He could go into the back scalar right about now, that's absolutely fine, but Mika's this thing is low. Uh, we, we could die, potentially die from recoil. I wonder what item he is on this thing. Is he boots? Is he sash? What is he? Thomas is going to be able to pick up, pick up another KO, which is going to be huge. Uh, only problem is this does get rid of our ability to outspeed Salazzle. That's maybe a slight issue. He does withdraw. We're going to get one more hit off on something else. Maybe Bax? Sub Zelia, yeah, that's Bax Calibur. That's okay. Get some chip damage off on this as well. This is going to do like 20%, which is useful. Yep. Does Zamazenta die from recoil? We don't die from recoil just yet. Uh, I wanna, I'm gonna preserve Zamazenta and I'm gonna go hard Hatterene. Give him momentum. Because he's, he's probably gonna go for Ice Shard, yep. Because he's gonna go for Ice Shard. We're gonna go into Hatterene. We're gonna take that easily. Oh, he goes, oh, he goes for Dragon Dance. Oh, okay. Um, we shouldn't die from anything. Alright, let's see. Hatterene. Smart play to Dragon Dance there. I thought he would Ice Shard. Uh, Baxcalibur, let's say... Anything goes Dragon Dance. I think he will be jolly. Uh, so Icicle Spear, even if he gets 5 hits, barely 2 KOs us. So do I want do I want a Nuzzle, or do I want to get a Reflect? Um, if he hits me, obviously we're going to be switched out anyway, but we can go Greninja after and we can just kill him. Actually, no we can't. I lied. Oh, sh oh shoot. Oh shoot, this is a tough, tough situation. Uh, well, I definitely want to nuzzle here, that's for sure. Let's see. He goes for Icicle Crash, so he's not, he, might not, he may not be low the dice. We're gonna eat that up decently nicely, and we're gonna get our Jack Button out. Ooh, this is tough. I wasn't expecting Dragon Dance. Hmm. Shoot. Do we not have priority? Oh, do I just lose the Backscalibur here? Shoot. The eject button arguably hurt us there. Because we, uh... Hmm, does Greninja live a hit? I definitely don't feel like it does. Plus one Glaive Rush easily should take us out. Yeah, it does. Bro, we could just lose right here, right now. Uh, what about Oricorio? The Terra Ghost. Uh, we don't... Well, we, we could still die to Glaive Rush. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, are you kidding me? I really should have prepped for Backscalibur better, then again, like I said, I did definitely rush my prep quite a bit. Um, well, we have to go Oricorio, because nothing else lives a hit, so... We have to go Oricorio, and we have to just rev ter we have to Terra Ghost and Revelation Dance. Honestly, I feel like we just lose, because this definitely doesn't kill. And after that, everything dies, because we don't have Water Shuriken on Thingy either. Let's Terra Ghost and do this. We could still die to Glaive Rush, there's a very good chance we do. Um... Yeah, shoot, man! I should have prepped for Backscalibur. I should have prepped for a Dragon Dance set better. I really feel like that. I really felt that you know having the speed here advance was going to be fine. 
Oh, Christ. Okay, so yeah, Glaive Rush. This has a good chance to kill us, but not guaranteed. It does not, in fact, kill us. We do get the Terra Ghost Revelation Dance, which is going to be doubled in power because of Glaive Rush. Does it kill, is the question. It actually does! Oh my god, that's huge! The defensive investment came in clutch for us! That's insane! Good job, Oricorio! Wow! So, Oricorio KOs backs. Wow! That's clutch! I'm so glad about that def defensive investment now. I was really worried about him being scale shot, but it turns out he's obviously not loaded dice. Oh, Oricorio! And do you know what? Oricorio is going in the thumbnail, even though it might only get one kill. That's huge. That is so huge. Thank the Lord. Oh my God. That's that's actually huge. So are we up three to one now? I think we are. All right, Sora. That's going to be the Zelf, right? Yeah, that's going to be the Zelf. Uh, obviously, we need to just. Well, we're, we're going to let Oracle let down uh, go down. There's nothing that uh, that it does for us anymore at this point. We're going to go for Revelation Dance here uh, because that obviously denies any potential setup he wants to do. He goes for Dazzling Gleam. That's okay. This thing could be Choice Scarf to deal with Zamazenta. I'm definitely expecting it might. Or Rikorio goes down to uh, Zelf. We don't see a Life Orb either. Um, I want to go into Thunderous and just click T-Bolt, honestly. Uh, let's see. Zelf, are you Choice Scarf? Against uh, my Thunderous. So obviously Dark Pulse should, so obviously Dark Pulse should take him out. Yeah, we're just going to go into Thunderous. Because we don't actually have Dark Pulse on Greninja, right? We could also bait it and pretend we have Dark Pulse so we can get some switches on him. But I feel like going with Thunderous is safer. Uh, has he got any priority left on his team? Because if he doesn't, then Zamazenta could still put in some work for us. Uh, no, he's still got Aqua Jet left, obviously. Uh, but I definitely just want to click... Hmm. I feel like I just want to click Thunderbolt because it's a better middle ground, right? Yeah, let's just do that. Because I don't want to lock into Dark Pulse against... Uh, yeah, he is Scarfed. Had a feeling. Alright, we're gonna go for a big Thunderbolt. And that just takes him out clean. So that definitely does reveal the number of choice specs. Hmm. We can definitely still lose to Salazzle, is the thing. He goes into he does go into the Salazzle here. Uh, do I live an Aqua Jet from a band of the Zumarill? Because if I do, I want to preserve Thunderous for sure. The Zumarill. Let's just say choice band. Uh, Aqua Jet. Uh, does not knock us out, in fact. So I definitely want to keep Thunderous around. We're going to sack off Hatterene because it's uh, pointless at this, because it's useless at this point, and we need to get a free switch into uh, Greninja. If he gets up a nasty plot here, we could definitely still be in trouble for sure. As a matter of fact, if he does get up a nasty plot, it's probably Oval. Let's hope he doesn't. Endeavor. Okay, interesting. That's fine. Uh, we're going to go for a Healing Wish here. Just sort of get out of there. Probably should have gone for Nuzzle. Actually, that's my bad. Let's hope he kills us. Yeah, I should have thought about it a little bit better. I'd knock off against fine. Alright, he's gonna do that. Cetrion goes down. And now I want to go into my Greninja. Actually, Samazent is faster, right? Um, I think Samazent is actually better. I think Zamazenta and Close Combat is better. Because then Greninja doesn't take any Life Orb chip. Yeah, let's go Zamazenta. I should need to write, need to write this KO down. Uh, let's see, Salazzle. So uh, let's see, who went down again? Memory of Goldfish. Um, Hatterene did. Uh, let's write that down, perfect. Uh, now we're just going to go for a close combat. Because it's very free. We should outspeed. Because he's, uh, he ju he's just revealed that he's Choice Scarfed, in fact. We're gonna be able to kill him here. If he switches here, that would that might be a choke. Hmm. Let's just be careful not to lose to Azumarill. I think we could have this, but it's gonna entirely depend on what that Azumarill set is. Because hypothetically speaking, we kill Salazzle here. Azumarill comes in. Yeah, alright. So, Sal so Zamazenta KOs. Salazzle. And then I think we should be okay against Azu. Because I think we can deny the belly jump. Did it already have chip? I can't remember. Alright, there comes the Azumarill. Alright, it's slightly chipped. 
We're just gonna go for a band of CC here. He's probably just gonna kill us. Uh, he might belly drum. No, he's just gonna go for RPR. That's fine. Uh, I think we can just finish up with Thunderous, honestly. I don't think we have to risk anything. We should not be in range. A maximum max attack choice banded uh, Azumarill does 100 points of HP max. We have 105, so we should be out of range. And then a Thunderbolt should kill him unless he's Wakan Berry, which I'm not leading towards because of the fact that he switched out hard earlier. Uh, and then, and then after, and if, even if it doesn't, we should be able to clean up. So let's go Thunderbolt here. He does go for Aqua Jet. I don't even know if that's banned, to be honest. We go for Thunderbolt. No Wakan Berry. And we take down Azumarill, and that is going to be the game. Wow, that is a 2-0 victory for the Leaf Agents, taking down the former champion. I was not expecting that. GG's, Raymond. Wow, what a game. I mean, you promised me a good battle, just like Pokemon Master, and you absolutely delivered. So thank you so much for that. I did really enjoy that. Ooh, I'm glad we're back to winning ways, man. Even though the team wasn't too well prepped, I'm... Dude, that live on Oricoria was huge. That was insane. Oricoria is the MVP of this match. I don't care. Zamazenta may have gotten the most KOs. Oricoria is MVP. Thank you guys so much for watching this one. I really enjoyed that. I hope you guys did too. That's going to be it for this one. And we will be back soon for week four. See you guys there. Peace and take care.